What up, all deaf squad? This is the Anomaly Will Ferrell. And before we get into this episode of Black Blasphemy, we just want to run a couple of things by you as to what's to come from Black Blasphemy. First of all, we want to thank each and every single one of you for checking out Black Blasphemy. On behalf of myself and the rest of our arcade tokens, thank you for making it such a success that it is. It is because of you that we can continue to make this show, create a dope open space for people to come in and just explain their Black Blasphemies. But as always, we want to keep elevating to provide a better experience and a better show for our audience. And so with that, we have a lot coming your way. Not only is Black Blasphemy going to be continuing, but we're going to be bringing it into two different type of formats. We have one. Yes, that's right. That's right. Before we pass it, two different formats. Now, before you trip out, just know you're going to like it. OK. We have one format that we will be shooting in studio that I can't really give too many details to. Just know that it's under wraps and we're working on something that we think you will enjoy. But secondly, the traditional black blasphemy that you have grown to love, the Zoom format will return, of course, with all three arcade tokens, but we are upping the ante. Not one, not two, but three Guests will now feature along with the three RK Tokens members on Black Blasphemy. So you are going to get triple the Black Blasphemies. So, but before we do that, we do still have a, a lost episode with Inside Our Library that features hosting by Patrick Cloud and features the two folks from Dormtainment and of course our Goblin Squad member Jamie A. Riley. So we just wanted to be able to give you a little filler before you watch and be like, no, we said we wanted all y'all together. Still have one more in the chamber we needed to give to you. So please enjoy this week's episode of Black Blasphemy understand that this is one of the episodes that we had where it was just Patrick Cloud. We hope you enjoy it and we hope you look forward to what we're bringing when we bring more Black Blasphemy. And also too, just a little caveat, make sure you check out for special guests that will fall through like our previous episode, if you click on the link, where it features bad hair actor Jay Farrow. Okay, make sure you check that out. But I'm not going to keep you any longer because you don't want to keep hearing my voice for the next 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and get to the blasphemy. We hope you enjoy the show. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the notifications to All Death and all of All Death vertical platforms on YouTube. I've been the Anomaly Will Farrow. Enjoy. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome to another episode of Black Blasphemy. I'm your host, Patrick Cloud. Uh, we got we got a new format, as you can tell. Uh, it's not all the RK tokens. We're splitting into threes so we can get more blasphemies. We switch up the format to keep our ops fumbling around. Uh, huge shout out to our guests for the day. Uh, we got Rome and Cam from the legendary comedy group Dormtainment and Jamie Riley. What it do, y'all? What's up, y'all? <laughs> Thank you. No one ever claps for me. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Uh, <laughs> as always, we got the tech god behind the ones and twos. Shout out to Kadeem. What it do, brother? What's up? What's up? Ready to go. Ready to yes, go. Yes, sir. All right. So if this is your first time watching Black Blasphemy, this is a game show where we are pretty much admitting all of the stuff we would never, ever, ever admit at a black cookout. Uh, it's a safe place, so no judgment. <laughs> Even though your comment sections after you're on this show are going to be a mess. Uh, it's going to be a good mix between people that agree with you and people who just don't see you as a, a black person anymore. Yeah. It's interesting. Definitely interesting. Yeah. Uh, so there's four categories that we choose between. There is food, uh, music and television, uh, excuse me, music, uh, movies and television, and general black culture. Uh, we're going to pick a category. Kadeem is going to throw up a blasphemy that one of us anonymously submitted, and we're going to have to use our detective skills to find out who thinks this, they're gonna explain themselves, and then that's it. There's no points, there's no win. We all lose this game. <laughs> At the end of the game we all lose. All right, so uh, without further ado, just so you guys can uh, see see how it works, I'm gonna go first. Um, all right. We, I usually choose food, but I'm gonna go with music. Um, music this time, got it. Let's go with music because music has just been upsetting me personally on this show. Uh, the Stevie Wonder slander 
<laughs> it's gone out of hand. Through this, through this roof. Oh my God. It's gone out of hand. Uh, but real quick, before you throw the blasphemy up, uh, Kadeem, uh, since we're talking about Stevie Wonder and the dark glasses, you guys, uh, you guys got shades on in the house. What's 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 going on with that? Well, uh, we are promoting uh, our new sunglasses company called Shady Side Up. Uh, luxury, affordable glasses that you can go grab right now at www.shadysideup.com. And uh, yeah, go grab your pair and come live on the shady side. You know what I'm saying? So. That's a good plug. You practice that? That was pretty good. Nah, Not gonna lie, it's not like you put an extra W in that <laughs> www. <laughs> well, w, 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 w dot. Some, they know. They should know it by now. Right. W, we were just talking about that. The WWW got just swept under the rug throughout these years. We used yeah. to say that strongly, and everybody's just like, no, it's patrick.com. It's like, yeah. <laughs> patrick.com. <laughs> <that's it. laughs> no HTTP? Nope. Nope. <laughs> no backslash, right, backslash. backslash. None of it. Okay, we, first one up, here we go. All right, Kadeem, we also see your logo. It's not oh, the last one. My bad. And here we go. Shout out to Kalos Media. Boom. That's Never awesome. listen to a full Tupac album. Okay. All right. I hate the judge here, but I feel like that's you, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Already. All right, well, Already. Let's oh, start. I feel like everyone's going to think all of these blasphemous is going to be like Jamie. Yeah, well, I have everything. a question. I have my 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 first detective question is, Jamie, were you? I don't. I don't. I don't remember you telling me. Your transplant story. Are you born and raised in LA? No, no, no. I'm from Virginia. Virginia. Oh, so hey. it's the South. So, you know, don't <laughs> don't think that we're like in a little island or something like that. Like it's from the South. We got a lot of greats come from Virginia. Chris Brown That's is true. one of them. Trey no, Songs, Pharrell, of- Timbaland, Missy, you know, a lot Did of Did you legends. say Trey Songs before Timbaland or Pharrell or Missy? Well, it was well hard. because I went to I went to producers after. Gosh. It was like Chris Brown, Trey Song, Trey Song, producer. Trey Song. All right, I don't really see anybody in Virginia yelling out West Side with that <laughs> with their whole chest, though. It and gotta be the West Side of Virginia, though. You, but it doesn't mean that I didn't listen way. to the whole album. All right, Rome and Cam, y'all from Miami? I'm from Miami. Miami. Okay. I'm from North Carolina. I was, my oh, parents yeah. met in California, and, um, they, I was born in Germany. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. So, so, so was I. Oh, wow. I'm born in Germany too. Armin San Diego over here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> Karen, I'm going to be honest. This All is right. Pat or Jamie? Well, it's I'm not me go. because I asked. Oh, okay. okay. It's, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. usually it's never you. Like it's you. Yeah, exactly. So this yeah. can't be me. And that would be just all types of blasphemy because I am from Los Angeles. Rome's <laughs> parents met in Cali. So there is a chance that they like Machiavelli. Not I don't I don't know anybody from Miami who likes Tupac <laughs> or any rappers. <laughs> oh, this is tough. All right. I would get fired. I, I know I would get fired as a detective, but I feel like with little evidence, I am going to say that this was Cameron. And it's it's only based on how he's holding his head like this. <laughs> Which is how typically people watch when they're lying. So, Cam, was this you? Well, I will say that you didn't show me any California love because it's not. That's my favorite rapper of all time. Is that your favorite rapper? My favorite wow. rapper. I am the worst. I am I the worst at this. Fuck. I am by far the absolute worst at this. I picked. I picked Dude. the Tupac fan. <laughs> look. Look. Tupac is the reason I got tattoos. I remember I was in third grade when he died. I wanted thug life on my stomach when I was. You, when I died. you have a huge connection to Tupac. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, that. so he was very significant in your life. All right, I'm just gonna go with my follow up. Is it Jamie? It's not me. I am the what? worst <laughs> at this. Yo, you got me with that. It's wrong. It was Rome. Rome. Never. Never listen to a full album. I've always heard singles, songs, never listen to a whole album all the way through. Do you not- like Tupac? Yeah, I like Tupac. I never listen just- to a whole album all the way through though. I just I've 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 started to and then I think I've gotten to certain songs and just skip, 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 and then I go to a song I like, but I like Tupac though. <laughs> skip, 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 skip. Yeah, I like skip. Tupac though. I just skip, I just skip. haven't listened to a full album all the way through. Neither have I listened to a whole biggie album all the way through. So I I can't 
I think I think I want to take you to court and get the full ownership of this company. <laughs> I don't know if I can be business partners with you anymore. After that. Shady shot up. That's you I know, think that's it. I think all Shady eyes on me was the all eyes on me was the closest one I got all the way through, but I, I never I never sat and did What's close? Business. Uh, probably like a little over halfway. A little over halfway. <laughs> skip, skip, skip. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually, I, I like Tupac. It's just I haven't listened to a whole album. All the heartbroken Cholo Dormtainment fans, man. <laughs> <laughs> All the heartbroken. Okay, wow. Okay, so that's what we call getting away with it because everybody was accused but you. So, uh, Rome, you want to go up next? You got food, movies, music, and general black culture. Let's go general black culture. All right. Going with general black culture. And just to make you feel better, uh, Will is is always throwing himself under the bus for never, uh, he never listened to a full Biggie album. So that yep. was a big thing on the, yep. on the show. Which is, he has <laughs> like what, two? It's like, listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He was literally ready Pam to die. the new favorite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, what did you say? This was music? No, uh, general general black culture. General black culture. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm ready when you are for this one. What we got? All right. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. See, you got, so you got to read it. You have to read it out loud. For okay. the read it. You got to accept it into your soul. Having pretty feet is overrated. I'm you know. I'm going to start the timer. Go ahead. It's bizarre. Standpoint. Here's the thing. This is tough. This is this is tough. I'm not gonna. <laughs> it's like it's like I could go with Jamie because that might be like the throw off. You know what I'm saying? I I could go with Jamie, but some is telling me it's not Jamie. So it's it's only okay if it is Jamie. If this is anyone <laughs> else, it's bizarre. <laughs> it's bizarre. Cause I get it. Maintenance. Sorry, really? uh, Cam, I feel like he don't like feet at all. So I don't even think he would write nothing about feet. But I, I just, I, but Pat, Pat, that, that pretty feet, are, but you want pretty feet. Like, that's what, feet I, I would feet. clown gorilla feet. There's no <laughs> way I'm seeing past that. I don't know. You look like you love socks. Yeah, you, you look yeah, like you're you a look. socks guy. <laughs> you want, you, you're always you rocking socks. Like you kind of just go with the flow. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, what is this? What is this asking? I mean, is this saying Having other people's feet, feet or keeping your own feet? Keeping your. I feel like that's why I was thinking about Jane because she or is she saying that she don't be that she don't want to keep her feet uh, uh, nice? But I don't. Mm -hmm. As a woman, I don't think that would that don't make sense for me. Nah, look at her room. Look how nice and neat her room is. It's a neat ass <laughs> room. Look well, at the clues. Mind, then. Jeez. Look at the clues. Color coordinated. Look at that collar. It ain't a wrinkle on that collar. No, <laughs> <laughs> pretty. That collar is starched. <laughs> like she oh, cleaned man. the room to classical music. <laughs> Pat, you from Cali, so so toes gotta be out out here. Toes be you out. We can't from Miami. And came from Miami, toes got to be toes out. Be hold, out. On, hold on, hold on, don't double, don't double, double team on me. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, we got to be out. All right. All right. Cam got to be on the beach. I'm going go, okay. to go on a whim. I'm going to go on a whim. And just because I think sometimes people try to throw you off. I'm going to go with this as Cam. Damn, wrong. You are absolutely wrong. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! Oh, okay. you say I'm the guilty looking one. It's, it's the head tilt. It's the head tilt. Switch the glasses out. <laughs> if it was a lineup, he just looked guilty. That does not help. help. That doesn't help. Second, <laughs> I'm a second. I'm gonna I'm I'm go Jamie. I'm gonna go Jamie. It was me. Oh, okay. All right. See, I should have went with my Jamie. first gut Sorry, feeling. Boy. I'm afraid to see Jamie's feet. Just blame Corona. Just blame Corona straight up. What she's saying is you don't want to keep doing your toes all the time is what you're saying. I feel like, honestly, it's overrated. I feel like if dudes don't have to get their feet done, then why are you giving us such high standards to keep our feet done? And I think it's overrated. Okay. I mean, to be fair, you guys unfairly have a lot of 
like high state, like maintenance upkeep. Is, yes, y'all gotta yeah. shave. Y'all gotta pretty do feet, period thing. yo. But pretty feet, you will. You said that you would dog a woman if you see her feet and they were jacked. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's something about black culture where it's like, yo, pretty feet is mandatory. Well, to be fair, if a dude, it, it, it all depends on, and I remember me and Tony were talking about this. It all depends on your presentation. If you toes out with sandals, we go, we, you, you've you presented them to us. So it's just like- You are, you are showing the community. You're yeah, the so community. Yeah. Dudes, dudes aren't exempt. If a dude came in with one nail that was blacked out and one toe that was going like this, people would be like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, he's a man, don't tease him. So I'm just saying, but I mean- I, I don't I, have a foot fetish. Like, I don't care for feet at all. And, uh, and that's why- I, That's why I went with it, because I was like, man, he, he could have just said it, but I should have went with Jamie. I should have went with Jamie. <laughs> no. There you go. All right, well, Jamie, with your nigga feet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's gonna be zooming in on my photos now. <laughs> you don't realize I cropped my feet out. You're gonna all my post photos. a picture. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like me and Jamie were the same size. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> all right, Jamie, you wanna you wanna go next in the categories? Okay, uh, let's do. Uh... We haven't done food or movies yet, yeah. but you can do the other ones. Okay, so let's do uh, let's do food. All right, going with the food. Okay, food is food is a, a, a good one. Like, uh, what's it called? Uh, Cleo is famously known now for preferring Kraft macaroni and cheese over homemade uh, mac and cheese, That's which terrible. is That's yeah. the white in it. That's the That's white. The yeah, no, that has to be. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm his brother, and I got to be honest. I don't know where that came from. I eat. I love, home, I love Me and him grew up different. I'll just leave it at that. That's I'll, funny. He's like, don't slander my name. Exactly. <laughs> He's like, this isn't a Thomas thing. This is yes, not a Thomas thing. This is not a Thomas thing. I'm, I go to the South a lot more. Uh, Let's go with... Nah, I'm going to go to another one. One second. He's over here having an internal a crisis. I Yeah, I just want to just... Yeah, let's go with this one. All right. Ready? Yeah. Do it. Yep. Okay. So uh, let me. <laughs> so steak just, is just, trash. Just flat out. <laughs> steak is trash. All just, type, all all forms of steak. Just anything just steak. Out. Just beef, trash. <laughs> wow. Okay. We'll start the timer. Uh -huh. Officer Jamie, out. what you think? Okay, Pat. Um, how do you feel about me? <laughs> just all meat. Just all meat. Uh, meat yeah, is, red meat. Red meat. Uh, it's it's wonderful. I I, <laughs> I like burgers. Uh, I'm a huge fan of steak. I was I grew up thinking well done was the best, and that's trash. I, and then I got some class. Uh, I love steak. I had a steak this week. Okay, I'm all right. Okay, Cam, how you feel about red meat? <laughs> I mean, I love red meat, even though I can't eat it anymore since I'm pescatarian, but I love it. I did love it. Sounds like somebody mm -hmm. who would say steak is trash. That yep. sounds what it is. Okay, Rome, how you feel about red meat? I grew up in the South, ain't nothing but cows. How you feel about ribs? My dad, all he does is make ribs, beef, pork. Don't mean he like it. I don't hear any emotion. <laughs> you know, I, you know, I, with I certain dishes, you when emotion. you like certain dishes, you feel it when you talk about it. Me or Pat didn't nothing. give you emotion. Pat, he just said he ate, he said I had steak earlier this week. You know? That's better than I grew up around cows. He told me a story. <laughs> no, Pat told me a story about <laughs> his a story. Life experience, okay? That's that like was an experience. Food. They beat like around the bush. bush That's beat. an experience. And, and Cam's like, okay, I feel like, you know, Cam, maybe because you gave it up, but... I don't think you'd be like steak is trash just because you gave it up. Hmm. How do you feel about ribs? Me? Yeah. I love ribs, even though I can't eat it no more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, That's... what's the one thing you miss eating now that you're pescatarian? Chicken. Chicken? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All that mm -hmm. How do you feel about hey, lamb? Yeah. How I feel about what? Lamb. I prefer goat. Especially 
Joke. That question didn't even lead anywhere. <laughs> it didn't go nowhere. I don't know. <laughs> it's really it's but I'll tell you what, it's when I was me. young, I used to watch Lamb Chop all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I used to count sheep. Um, right. Accusations. Um, I think Rome said he's trash. He just said, yeah, it was Rome. <laughs> no <laughs> evidence, no drum roll. It was Rome. Just book if it's Rome. Jamie, you, why you got to be right? <laughs> it was the cows thing. I knew it. It was, it. Cow. It it was, was the cow statement. Cow. I'm not gonna lie. I'm learning a lot about Rome. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. think, think of, what I really had to think about this, and I was like, all right, if I was to go back to eating beef and stuff, and I was like, snake trash is just a lot of people just chewy and shit. I was like, it's, gonna, it's a lot of work. It's, you got it's just it's just kind of trash to me. Did weird. you ever learn how to cook it? <laughs> yeah. So you know, like. You, you, it's not like you were eating like bad, chewy, low quality steaks. You were no, eating I, I've had, I, I had bad, chewy, low quality, but I had a good steak too. But even then, it's like, it kind of whatever. It's I kind of agree with him. I kind of agree with him. Like, it ain't trash to me. I like steak, but I don't miss it. Like, I don't need it. Like, if they got rid of steak, I'm like, all right. Yeah. Y'all went vegetarian and started turning your back <laughs> on, <laughs> on all the stuff that was there for you. Oh. <laughs> like honest, to be honest, even when I was eating beef and all that, I really, I rarely ha I had burgers a lot, a lot of, a lot of burgers, a lot of hot dogs and shit. Like I didn't never really had steak like that, so I was like, eh. you ain't never had a good fillet mignon. Uh, yeah, no, no, I, no, I ain't have no fillet mignon. <laughs> Jamie, you like steak, right? Do you like steak? I so like, yeah, I eat steak. Um, my favorite is like the ribeye. Okay. Um, but I will say that I understand, like, well, well, people don't want to eat meat and red meat, you know, like save the earth, that type of thing. So I do understand it. But anyone who's had steak is like, I don't see someone saying like steak is trash, you know, because I've had some amazing steaks. The best steak ain't even a full steak. It's when it's chopped up. Like you ever had a good steak burrito? You don't miss steak burritos? Steak quesadillas? Uh, no, exactly. Quesadillas? Uh, uh. It's kind of whatever. Damn. Maybe trash is a harsh word, but I, okay, it's it just, it's not, it's whatever. Steak is whatever. Nah, okay. you said trash. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna roll with it. I'm gonna roll with it. You said it. Tell what he said. All right, who hasn't gone yet? Cam. Cam. All right, what All right you I guess the, the topic we didn't pick yet was movies, right? That's yeah, the only one. We have not touched movies yet. Let's do movies. Do Let's movies. Do movies. What's a bad one? What is a bad movie one? Um, I think we just, had someone say next next Friday is better than Friday. Next Friday is better or it's than funnier. Friday. It's funnier than Friday. Next Friday no. is funnier than Friday. No. Hey, but Pat, I'm with you with that baby boy. I love baby boy. I love that movie. <laughs> he, I okay. love that movie. I even I even retracted my sentence, uh, my, my statement when I said it was a cinematic masterpiece. That was going a little far. <laughs> I watched it since then. Lighting was ass. The lighting, <laughs> but in terms of a BET movie oh, match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. It's everything they asked for. It's their oh, Fast yeah. and the Furious. Outside of him being <laughs> off in the womb as a grown man, everything else is good about it. Wait, say that again? Outside of him starting off in the womb as a grown man at the beginning, everything yeah. else. About it. That was super weird. I never thought about how weird that yeah, is. Weird, <laughs> like, that was a painful birth. <laughs> oh, this. man. Tyrese, full Tyrese, already in a wife beater and Jesus. Came out singing the Coca-Cola commercial. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, what we got for movies? Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, boom. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> minute to society. Damn. I'm mad at that. Damn. And I already know all eyes are... We're we're all eyes are pointing. Let me let me just let me just clear my name real quick. Yes, right. Mr. New Jack City. Let them know. Have I never seen a lot of classic black movies? Yes. I did not know there was a, a movie theater you had to stop at before being black and and a checklist of all these damn movies. It's called the Magic but, Johnson Theater. Absolutely. Yeah. But <laughs> I actually love this movie. It was like it came out at an age where it was like it was like, it's not violent now because we've seen horrible things since. But like at the time, it was just like, yeah, people were getting packed out, stomped out. Like when he did the, the, the whole scene of like, yeah, you, you, you dog my cousin and they stomped the, the dog shit out of him. Yeah, it sounded like he, he, 
He capping. He sound like he capping, Cam. It's not like he he capping. Trying to, he trying to persuade me not to look at him, but yeah. that made me look at you even more. That was the exact opposite of what I was trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I gave you a scene and everything. <laughs> let me go. Let me go to Jamie. Uh, what's your favorite hood movie? Uh, probably Boys in the Hood. Name another one. <laughs> <laughs> You could have you could have never known that movie existed and said that. <laughs> yeah, right. You know that movie, People in the Hood. Yeah, I'm just trying to trying to gauge. You saw what? Name another hood movie. Um, Harlem Nights. Did you just name another hood movie? Or? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Was that? That's not hood. I, um, set it off. Is that a hood movie? I mean, I don't know. I don't Did know you exactly what you want me to say. Huh? Did you see these or are you just saying hood movies? No, yeah, I've seen it. Queen Latifah is in <laughs> Set It Off, so it. Um... <laughs> All right, that was worse than mine. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. Queen Latifah, Cuba Gooding. <laughs> <laughs> who, Jamie, who, who's the um, one of the, what's the two stars in Minnesota Society? Um, Lorenz Tate and Jada. And who? Jada Pinkett. That's not wrong. No. Hmm. Okay. All right, Detective Sam. Take them shades off. Let me see your eyes. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> I learned a lot about you today. For someone who ain't listened to a full Tupac movie, and you know he had beef on that scene. On he was supposed to be in that movie, but he had beef with the directors. So huh. you may not be a big Tupac guy. Which mean, I don't know if you watch hood movies like that. Really, you are a Tupac fan. That's deep Tupac knowledge. It is. <laughs> it is. Hmm. I believe Rome seen it though. So I'm gonna, this is between Pat and Jamie. Oh, I'm wow. still on the same level as Queen Latifah. Or, <laughs> or <Fishburne>. <laughs> <laughs> I did more than that. All right, all right, all right. No. I'm, a, I'm, I'm ready to choose. I'm ready to choose. My heart is saying Jamie, but my gut is telling me to go with Rome because Rome has thrown me off this whole episode. So I'm going to go with Rome. The words of Tupac from Juice this nigga's scared and this nigga's wrong. Those <laughs> <laughs> are your words against you. Right. you Always follow your heart, Cam. Jamie. I've never seen Minister Society. Hilarious. Oh, no, Jamie. And I knew it. I knew it when you started naming other hood movies. I was like, what? Like, what? <laughs> you just started firing off. You know, paid in full. <laughs> you know, you know, she went, she went to set it what off. What did you said at the Boys in the Hood? What was that first movie you said at the Boys in the Hood? It was, uh... <laughs> What's the other one? Boys in the Hood. I think we set it off. Think no, no. She said that third. What was the one after Boys in the Hood? You said Harlem Nights. Oh, oh that's Harlem Nights. Nice. Like, that ain't no hood movie. I know. <laughs> I'm like, really I don't not. goddamn know. <laughs> You're just firing in the dark. That's hilarious. <laughs> I but Rome was, Rome at the end. Off so much thus far. I'm like, maybe it's Rome, but good. That was good. Yeah. And, and I did. And it's funny. What's funny about this whole question is me, Cam, and Pat did a whole Minister Society scene in Thumb Thugging. Pat was in the scene. <laughs> right. I totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, when, you, when you started saying it, I was like, I don't think Cam remember that Pat was in the scene with us when we did that scene. When she said Harlem Nights, I said, she guilty. She, you know you fucked up. I right? don't know where she Harlem Nights came from. Right. No, Cam, Cam would have remembered it wrong and still had me in the dark. Like, <laughs> he would have remembered me like, what movie is this? What are we <laughs> shooting? <laughs> the only reason, the only reason Pat was kind of a suspect, I watch all of these episodes and he be saying some stuff. I'm like, what? <laughs> well, that's the problem. Every first, I was too quiet. Then I said too much, and, the, and no matter what I do, it's like this is why you're guilty. And this you're is guilty. Like, <laughs> no matter what. Kind of no matter. All what. right. Well, uh, Jamie, it's uh, it's on you. Okay. Uh, let's do. Uh, we just did film, so then let's do general black culture. General black culture. Got it. 
Oh, uh, we're gonna have to. Okay, that's fine. It is what it is. It always. I always forget this. I hate that line. It is what it is. It, 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 <laughs> it, it is what it is. It's so perfect, though. It works. It's true. It I mean, is. Yeah. It, it is. is what it is. It is what it is. Well, y'all ready? Let's mm -hmm. do it. It is what it is. Run it back. Run it uh, back. This this makes its way into a lot. I did, I, I'm shocked how many black people feel this way. I this feel is, this way. Wait, y'all 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 have, have this had this before? Huh? Y'all have had this before? A lot of people feel this way. A lot of people feel this way. This way. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people feel this way. Well, so, any shoot that someone gets shot over is automatically. <laughs> <laughs> the overrated bin. <laughs> Absolutely. So here we go. Okay, Jordans are overrated. Hmm. I just want to guess right now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. Um. Okay, Cam. Mm -hmm. How many pairs of Jordans do you have? Zero. Oh. Interesting. Okay, Rome. How many pairs of Jordans do you have? Uh, I had two. I have zero now. You sold them? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What numbers were they? I don't know. Retro? <laughs> yeah. <I> think... <laughs> he sold them because they're overrated. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly or, what it sounds like. <laughs> or I sold them because, you know, nigga need a little hard time. I'm a, I'm a comedian. I need some money. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, I sold them for money. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That'll take <me>. I'm overrated. <laughs> All right, Pat, how many Jordans do you have? I have one pair of retro ones, and they were a gift. The only pair of Jordans I ever bought was for PE in high school. <laughs> and For high school? In, in high school, when I had PE, and you should see how niggas looked at, like, fresh Jordans <laughs> on the dirt. They were like, <gasps> oh, yeah, that's blasphemy. Yeah. That's, that's blasphemy <laughs> in itself. You're right. That's my first black It is. Don't care. Don't care. The craziest thing about Jordans, they don't even make you play basketball better. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from North Carolina. I had to have Jordans. They were whoop my ass. That's very true. <laughs> Being from North Carolina, that changes things. Hmm. Okay, okay. Cam, did you play basketball? I was more football. Football mm. was right. Hmm, okay. Rome, you play basketball? Yeah. What ages? I played basketball in middle school, and then I stopped uh, at high school because I started doing a uh, band. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I played basketball too, Jamie. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I ran out of time. I ran out of time. <laughs> Pat, you don't like to play basketball. I'm like, I, I know. Follow. I'm like, okay, that's not it. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I, I ran out of time. So basically, none of us had Jordan, so she don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't. I'm like, damn, I don't know. Oh no. This is an eclectic group. I'm just a gambler, so I got a good poker face. This is hard. <laughs> so I think. But Cameron think looks it, guilty. All his poker faces look guilty. I don't, he always looks guilty. I don't think it's Pat because they said that they already talked about this. So I don't think he would write that. Good logic. Um. Yeah. Um. Uh, Rome. I feel like he honestly. So, because he stopped giving, like, he stopped caring about what people thought, and that's why he sold them. Um, and Cam never owned them, so I'd say I'll go with Rome. Right? <laughs> <Dang! laughs> yep. Damn. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Do I always feel that way? I agree with the statement, to be Damn. honest. Yeah, I, yeah, I, that's why this I never all of it. I, I bought some. And when we were in D.C. for a show, I had them for a year or so. I said, hey, all right. Here's my story. <laughs> they all start to squeak at the certain certain time. Like, like the SpongeBob shoes? They, 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 they put them on. Down badly. When you put them on, they solid. They comfortable. I will give them that. They comfortable when you first put them on. They, they, they are. They are. But they, I think they did. I'm not standing in no line getting shot for them. That's not happening. About to say honestly, Rome, but you being from North Carolina, that's kind of it's, it's almost disrespectful. It, almost. it, it, it is actually it is. It's it borderline is. disrespectful being from North Carolina. I will say that. It is, but you know, hey, it is what it is. They I'll are overrated. There. So this was all of us, really. Yeah. 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 yeah pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I, have right, one, so, uh, I have to run that one back again because apparently, oh. like I said, a lot of people are feeling that way about them. 
I'm gonna go. I'll go next, and I am going to pick the uh, the hidden fifth choice, which is dealers. Dealers' choice. Zordon, give me one of the most blasphemous things you got for the episode. I wanna, okay. I wanna crack down mm. on the, the okay. worst okay. of the worst. Okay, I got, I got one right here. I think this one might, this one might get you. All right, what category do you think it is? It's, it's gonna be uh, movies and uh, TV. Movies and TV. All right, TV. so uh, we have switched over into dealers' choice. This is just gonna be the worst of the worst. Yep. What we got. Here we go. I never watched Do the Right Thing. And you clearly don't care about it at all because they didn't even get the caps. (laughs) 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 I almost read it as as I never wanted to do the right thing. That's deep. (laughs) That is deep. All right. Start the uh, start the timer. Jamie, favorite favorite Spike Lee joint. Um. <laughs> He's had so Tell many. Him. He's had so <laughs> many. <laughs> <laughs> that's the weakest i mean there's just so many to choose there's just so many i mean he's iconic in itself you know like <laughs> right now i'd probably say um i really like the shot i like black Klansman too black Klansman was good did that was just, really good did you just google no i didn't just google he's not iconic enough for you to watch his movies is what you're saying right <laughs> I'm not saying that. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying that maybe the title slipped my mind right now. Because he's had a lot of movies. I just can't remember exactly like the title title. Like I remember, I don't want to keep throwing myself like under the bus, but I remember one where um, Charlie Murphy was in. I forgot the name of that one, but I know Spike Lee directed it, but I forgot. Um, yeah. Officer, tell the, the guys in the waiting room they can go home. I think, I, stop the timer. I think it's, <laughs> I think uh, put some cuffs on this young lady. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it was Jamie. I don't need to hear anything else. <laughs> Jamie, was this you? Yeah, well, <laughs> it was me. Jamie's so guilty. As soon as you ask her to name the movies, it's over. It's, <laughs> it's over. So, I'm not that bad of a police chief. All right. <laughs> here's here's the funny thing about here's this. Here's the funny one. thing. Here's the funny thing. That's me and Jamie. That's the funny part about this one. They oh, both great. sent that in. Oh, really? Yes. Pat, you want to be my business partner? I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying. Here's the funny one about this. This one even slipped my mind right now. I was like, wait, I marked it as Rome, but then I have Jamie's email open. And they both oh, have I've never watched do the right thing on it. So y'all need to watch And I spelled and I actually thing. did the capitalize, but like at least she I did. did that. So this is technically wrong, but I just had a 50-50 chance. At this <laughs> point, I had a 50-50 chance. Y'all need to do the right thing and watch it together. That's what y'all <laughs> need. <laughs> this is how you know Jamie sent it. Come I'm on. not gonna I'm not gonna throw you guys out there um by yourselves. Come on, uh, Pat. Don't do this, Pat. Wait, 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 wait. Although I have seen the movie. My favorite Spike Lee film is Kings of Comedy. Don't like his movies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like his movies. <laughs> Pat, I feel the same way as you do, I, but I do like Inside Man. I do Wait, like Malcolm X? You don't like Malcolm X? I like Malcolm okay. X. I like okay. Malcolm X. I, 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 I always Malcolm forget. X. I always forget that that in Kings of Comedy is Spike Lee. I just never was like, I need to go watch Do the Right Thing. Like, uh. But it's like, here's the thing. I'm not even going to act like I watched do the right thing with a backwards, you know, Chris color, uh, color hat and, you know, like overalls. Like I watched it, like when it first came out, Black Power, I watched it because I was afraid that like, I couldn't be like, oh, I never seen the Spike Lee movie. <laughs> so I watched it out of respect for like, and I, and I watched it and I was like. And here's yeah, the thing, I recognize that you look like someone who would have been in a Spike Lee movie the earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look I like I had a black on my wall. Like you could have been Mars and she got to have it. I can see you playing that. There you go. She's gotta have it. I remember that. Yeah. You could have been mine. I mean, I, I don't recognize that he is great at what he does. 
But maybe it's just not for me. I mean, I like, maybe it's just- That's what I felt like when I watched Do the Right Thing. I felt pressured into doing it and I watched it and I was like, oh, I wasn't like, yo, I'm black now, you know? Yeah. Um, but you know, they do say sometimes, you know, over time, the movie doesn't like, what is resonate. it called? Uh, yeah. It doesn't well, resonate. Well, like later on, you know, right. like maybe in the 80s, that was like hitting, you right. know? But like, if you we watched it in early 2000s, it's like, this is trash. Or like I don't get the hype, or it's overrated. You it know? just ages different. Yeah, yeah. different yeah. movies age. Yeah, something some things are timeless. Friday is timeless. You know, timeless. There's more, yeah, there's nice. movies that are timeless, but that I don't think Spike Lee's are those. So. I'm disappointed in all three of y'all as Birdman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, y'all finish or y'all done. I'm done. <laughs> all right. It's funny uh, that that's the most blasphemous thing, though. <laughs> what? That one when you ask for the most blasphemous. Uh, one and that was said, one of them, and he said, I know, that right? Because that was a double, two people in here thought exactly. That, right? I mean, that's that's pretty real. But now I need to ask who else, who else has it? There's probably a lot of black people out there. <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> you, you guys will find out in your comments. I'm oh, sure. yeah, they're coming. Uh, Don't worry, they'll let you know. Rome, since you technically dodged a bullet there, you want to go next on the uh, the all star blasphemy? All right, let's go back to food. Let's do food. Let's do food. All right, let's see what we got. For. Eh. Another one. Another, another one. Another one. We have to do repeats. I know. Eh. I, like I the, said, I just wanted to, mm, I'll just go with this one. It's funny when I hear your click. It's like you hear him deciding, like, mm, click, click. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I really uh, mistake. Yeah, just do the worst of the worst. Just do the okay. worst of the worst. Okay. Do I'll do the worst of the worst. I got to go back to movies and TV for this one, I feel. Okay. Uh, to yeah. make this work. Okay. Everybody's deep blasphemy is in entertainment. It is. We're all entertainers. <laughs> it comes with it. Here you go. Oh, yeah, true. Ooh. Oh, I mean. The okay. fact that it's, it's phrased not a good actor like that. <laughs> 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 and personal, personal opinions mixed up with that. But uh, all right, Rome, you ready? I, feel like, I really feel like Pat would say this off top. Like, I just feel like he would say this off top. Like, I like Michael B. Jordan. I can hear you saying Michael Jordan, not not good actor like that, but you know, <laughs> it sounds like Pat. And I guess like it sounds like Pat. I also like could Pat. see Cam saying that as well. I think I'm the biggest Michael B. Jordan fan in this house, though. Yeah, but I will say that I will give it that. I can say That's that. a funny um, title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <in this> <laughs> <laughs> we had this conversation so many times in this house. I'm like, so in, in this house though, <laughs> <laughs> in these in these four walls, <laughs> just saying. I, I think it's hilarious that he grew up as Michael Jordan. Uh, do you have a favorite Michael B. Jordan movie? Jamie? Had to throw a B in it. Do you have a favorite? Yeah, or do you do you like like uh, when's the last time you watched a Michael B. Jordan film? Uh, probably uh, Creed. That's, that's nice. It's easy to go with. That's solid. solid. Oh, the that's easiest. Nice. That's like <laughs> the, he's bomb. <laughs> that movie was low key made for women too. <laughs> okay. All right. You uh, just went blurry. You just went blurry, so I, I know so. she might be lying. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> The tech was like, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> she capping. Last Michael B. Jordan movie you watched. You said me? No, Pat. Oh. That's Michael B. Jordan movie you watched. Uh, geez, he's in everything. Black Panther. Oh. Rest in peace. Uh, you know, T'Challa. That's a solid, that's a solid uh, conventional answer. I like that. That's nice. You know, just for respect. Had to watch yeah. it back. Cam, you seen both Creed's? Mm-hmm. Creed two, the last one I saw. You seen you seen Chronicles? Yep. Wait, wait, wait that's the one when the sci-fi one, right? With yep. the yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You seen um Fruitville? Yep. Fruitville's a good one. Damn, Cam got a way more mm-hmm. advanced question. I'm glad. <laughs> 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 oh man, I'm not gonna lie, this was this is tough because this could go this could go anyway. My first initial gut, like Cam said, my gut was Pat. My my gut was Pat. But then I feel like for some reason, even though we've had these conversations in this house, I feel like mm, man, this is tough. Well, I'm, gonna go I'm, I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm going Pat. I'm gonna go gut. I'm gonna go Pat. 
After all those house meetings about Michael B. Jordan, this is what you came to? No, this was not me. I like Michael. I like Mike. Mm. This was not I. I should have. Man, not you can't always sure. go with your gut. Your gut be wrong. Yeah, your gut right. be wrong. Gut be wrong. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go with Cam. Wrong. Your gut, man. Your gut. Wow, again? No, it's right. His gut right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right. I should have went with Cam. You had it first. Let's break it down. Yeah, I, break it down. I, wrote, I wrote it like that for a reason. He's not a good actor like that. Like sometimes that. he shows up, but sometimes it'd be, a lot of times it'd be shaky. So I'm yeah. like, like that. Like for him to be such an A-list celebrity, and it's just all right. It don't it's blow right. me away. I don't, get, I don't get all the emotions every time. I feel like his best was Creed's. I did like Fruitville Station. Black Panther, I liked his character, but outside of that, I liked him in Hardball. <laughs> I like hardball, wow. but I didn't. I don't think for an A-list celebrity, I don't think he's the best actor like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes he show up. Sometimes he a hit or miss. It's, I I agree with that. I agree. You I like, like him that. in The Wire with cornrows. I just love The Wire, but not for him. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's in it, but <laughs> I think Fantastic Four turned you off. You're like, nah, I can't get over it. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even hold that against him. That this whole production, <laughs> everything was. That, just, that was not his fault. Yeah, that wasn't his. Fault. <laughs> that wasn't his fault because yeah. they just haven't been able to get Fantastic Four right. Period. They need nah, to give it don't do that. Right. do that because you can be a good actor in a bad film, like Will yeah. Smith in Suicide Squad or Brian Cranston in Godzilla. After Brian yeah. Cranston died in Godzilla, that movie went to shit. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had anybody. I haven't heard anybody reference a Godzilla movie in a while. Are you a, yeah, are you yeah. a movie buff? I'm a to, okay, I'm I'm on my way there. All right, Rome. You, did you just go? Or yeah, yeah. Okay, Cam. You are. This is the grand finale. Grand finale. Ooh. Grand finale. What All you right, get? Let's go, uh, let's go to the back to the touchy subject. Let's go with music. Oh, you got any good music ones? Let's see if we got any good music. Oh, we do. Okay. Good music. I I can't take any more Stevie Wonder. No more <laughs> I just I just hope I just hope to God this is this doesn't hurt my heart. I'm, I'm trying to think of another. Find... What's another bad music one we had? Um, but I can bring up one from you. I'm oh, bad. I hate oh, Mary Prince. J. Blige. Oh, Prince, the Prince one. I hate Mary J. Blige. I hate Mary J. Blige. Don't enjoy Prince's music. You tripping on both of those? I and, just, and, and uh, don't forget about the blue face one on the dead lokes. Okay, I said that blue face was low key a good rapper before he was bullied into rapping on beat. <laughs> <laughs> it was advanced. If you go back and listen to it, it was advanced. Now he's all normal and whack, but it was very, very. If it, listen to dead lokes and dead lokes part two. <laughs> Me and I, Mike, no way Mike argued about that. that for the longest. He feels yeah. the same way you feel. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> Who? Mike? Mike. It takes an ear, man. It takes an ear. Maybe maybe Mike got that ear. Yeah. You got you to gotta go back and listen. Respect this cripping? Listen to the bars on Respect My Cripping. No. Uh-oh. <laughs> you can't Uh-oh. say that after Uh-oh. saying Prince and Mary J. Blige is trash. <laughs> <laughs> if you say that, then I may give you more credit, but you can't lead in with that. Well, yeah, that's. I mean, I try not to do those two battles at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Just to make sure this All is right. Cam going, right? This is Cam, yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry. Might be out on that side of it. Huh? I think we might be out on that side. I'm trying to figure out if I got anything left from you, guys. Right? Well, okay. Here, just do the just do the worst of the worst. Forget the categories. Okay. Yeah, do what's the best? What you feel? What's the best we got left? Okay. Best one we got left. Lego. There's been just there's just been too much black. I feel like I just have PTSD on this show at this point. <laughs> right? I can't even really like comprehend all the horrible things that were said. That's we even, crazy. Yeah, we even had a whole tirade about how New York was trash, and I was just sitting there like, "Oh my god, this is." Crazy. I need to know the context of that. Like, <laughs> you said what? What way? Like, you talking about food? Are you talking about music? Are you talking about living? Like, what? No, I mean, I, 
I love New York, but just it was it was all of the above. Everything about New York, they just went in on, and I was just like, oh. That's actually wild. <laughs> all right, y'all ready? Yep. Oh. Hennessy is garbage. Garbage? Huh. Huh. It's a hot take. <laughs> this can either be from the perspective of taste, or this can be from the perspective of they had a horrible, you know, horrible time on Hennessy. So that's oh. my mindset going into this. So, all right. First of all, who like who here likes the taste of Hennessy? No, I'm thinking nobody likes the actual taste of Hennessy. Mm -hmm. Or any liquor, tequila. It's nasty. Liquor. Hennessy no. is nasty, but with pineapple juice, it's tolerable. But all right, Jamie, are you a drinker? Yes, I drink. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. you, uh, <laughs> yes, I am. Mm -hmm. you white liquor, dark liquor. Um, all of it, really. All. Oh. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. Not look, racist. Look, look, Jamie learned. She's trying to be more tough with it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I do though. Like I, I, I used to work in like restaurants, so like I know about wines and white liquors, dark liquors, uh, spirits, liqueurs, drinks, cocktails. So like I yeah, so yeah I drink all of it. <laughs> Important question: mm -hmm. uh, What type of drunk are you? Uh, it depends on a who you're around and b your mood. That's a real alcoholic. <laughs> it depends on what you say. What was the answer? Uh, like who you're around and um your mood, you know. Okay. That means I'm several different people when I'm drunk. I know. It means I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're white. Huh? Do you like pure white? I mean, I've had it, and I've had their black kind, too. Okay. All of that. Hennessy connoisseur, I see. Huh? All right, Pat. <laughs> Sit up for me, Pat. Are you a drinker? I am. Yes, sir. You look like more of a smoker. <laughs> oh, like okay. I'm going to give him 30 more seconds. I'm going to run some time back for him. Okay. I feel like he needs I, I, go to drink. Go to drink? Okay. Hear me out. Recently, soju. I, it, it, so, I, I, all right, there's a, the, there's a corner store. Very, very nice Korean people uh, run it. They put, they turned me on to soju. It's been, it's been pretty lit and it tastes good. Uh, if you're talking about hard liquors, I would say tequila. All um, right, I'm ready to pick. This is wrong. What? You didn't even question him yet. I just feel like it's wrong. He's a wine and a tequila guy. Wine is great. This is wrong. Mm -hmm. My friend knows me. <laughs> <laughs> and here's, the funny, here's the funny thing. I, 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 tequila and whiskey, and that's in wine. That's my. Those are my go-tos. My dad is the Hennessy man. I think it's his fault that I think Hennessy is garbage because since I was, <laughs> since I could drink. Yeah, bring back a bottle of Hennessy. Let's do some Hennessy. Let's do some Hennessy. And I'm like, man, stop drinking this shit, man. This shit is not that good. And then I got forced by every black person at a party. And, you know, you, you see all the memes like, oh, you got to have a Henny there. You got to have a Henny there. And I'm like, y'all yeah. no, stop this. Stop this. Stop this. <laughs> I love that. that was, that's pretty much the origin story of Rome's deep voice. It makes all the sense. <laughs> Dad was, bring back some Hennessy. Let's do some, some Hennessy. Hennessy. <laughs> he was like... Now, now I've down. got him. He, now he's more whiskey, yeah. but sometimes I'll bring him a little bottle of Hennessy for old time's sake. But I'm like, I don't want to drink it, but you go ahead. It, it's, it's so bad. It's so it's bad. Not, not oh my it's God. It smells bad too. It's not, I'm not it's, going to sort of buy that. Yeah. I feel like I had some good ones that didn't get picked in here. <laughs> you do. Uh, Cameron's you, like, I got snubbed. <laughs> you, you do. But like I said, I couldn't give you your own. So that's the thing that yeah, happened. Yeah, 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 I yeah. couldn't give you your own. Especially well, that's good. That. Well, put it put it in the uh, the we we basically saved the ones that we didn't use so that you guys can come back and only add like a couple of them and you'll still have like a, a good amount for. A, so a what we've learned day. today is don't trust your gut. <laughs> and, <laughs> don't trust your gut. Okay. Don't trust your gut and. Jamie, you got to work on the interrogation. <laughs> you were falling apart immediately. Problem <laughs> 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 nine. 
<laughs> All right. Well, that's 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 awesome. Uh, this has been another episode of Black Blasphemy. Thank you so much to my guests, Rome, Cam, and Jamie. This was a lot of fun. And like Cam said, this is just we know a lot about each other now. A lot of deep <laughs> things that just don't come up in casual conversation. <laughs> Garbage. And all and all that, but um, again, thank you to our tech god Kadeem. Uh, you guys want to uh, plug anything again before we get out of here? Uh, yeah, uh, make sure you follow at Dormtainment on everything, and uh, make sure you go visit ShadySideUp.com and visit the Instagram the Shady Side Up and get you some frames. Hey, hey, uh, fellas, I'm just going to go ahead and put this out there. I was thinking y'all might need to get into the whole gaming eyewear thing. Maybe there's one. Maybe there's one. Oh, wow. Maybe there's one of them. Just you know what I mean. Just one I'm not title. Mad at that. Yeah, yeah, I got mine. I'm, I'm, I'll definitely support. I'm That's not mad I'm at that. That's I'm right. Not I, mad at all. I think it has like the little e glare, the that little yellow tint. Just okay. throwing that out there for y'all. Okay. okay. Nice. Jamie, Thank anything you. coming up? Um, uh, just uh, no, just closing out my new series on uh, YouTube called Hot Girl Summer. So we're finishing that. That drops uh, tomorrow. And uh, just working on some new stuff. But uh, my name is Jamie A. Riley on all platforms. And my Twitch is Isamu Gaming. And uh, that new Marvel's game is crazy. Let you got to jump in with the token. Cam? Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's the beauty of being in a group. I, I let Rome do all the heavy lifting. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, as always, I've been your host, Patrick Cloud, and we will see you next time. Peace.